Let's now think about different ways to represent a mixed number. And let's say that our mixed number is 2 and 2 and 1 eighth. 2 and 1 eighth. Actually, let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's make it 2 and 1 fourth. 2 and 1 fourth. So let's first think about the whole number part, the 2. Well, the 2 is going to be the two is literally two holes. You could literally view that if you want. Right here, we've drawn each hole. We've, we've cut it up into sections of eight. So it literally is eight eighths. So, it's, so let me just do it like this. So the two is this whole region right over here. That's one. So this right over here is one. And then this right over here is two. Two holes. So let me paint that in. So that is two holes. And then I have 1 fourth. So this last piece, this last hole, is divided into eight sections. So let me divide it into fourths first. So that's 1 fourth, 2 fourths, and 3 fourths. So we want one of those four to be filled in. One of those four in orange. So one of those four to be filled in. So just like that. You might notice that I filled in two of the eights, and that's because one fourth and two eights is the same thing. So there I've represented this mixed number, two and one fourth. Let's see how we can decompose this. So let's get our grids back. So how else could we do it? And I'm just going to throw a bunch of fractions up there and see what I get. See what I get. So what I, the first thing I'm going to throw out is one half. So let's say that I want to throw out one half. So how would I represent 1 half here? Well, if I take one of these holes and I put it into two sections right over here, a half would be this section right over there. So let me color that in. So we have a half. So I'm first going to add a half, which is the same thing as 4 eighths. And you see that I just filled in 4 out of the 8 sections, which is exactly half of this, of this first hole. So we're making some progress. Now let's throw in, now let's throw in, I don't know, let's throw in three eighths. So what would three eighths look like? Well, three eighths, that's going to be, th these are literally, each of these boxes are literally an eighth. And I could fill it in however I want, but let me just put, this is one, two, and three. And then let's fill in, let's fill in plus, I don't know, plus another 8 eighths. 8 eighths. Now what's 8 eighths? Well, 8 eighths is a whole. And I'll do that over here. I still haven't filled this one in yet, but I'll fill in this one right over here. So let's do that. So 8 eighths. So that's 1 eighth, 2 eighths, 3 eighths, 4 eighths, 5 eighths, 6 eighths, 7 eighths, and 8 eighths. And it's a whole. So I have a whole hole here. So that's 8 eighths. I, I want to make this one a whole because I want to get to 2. So let me put in a 1 eighth there. So plus 1 eighth. So plus 1 eighth. Well, that's going to be this one right over here. So that's my 1 eighth. And then let's add another, I don't know, let's add another 2 eighths. Plus, plus another 2 eighths. Plus 2 eighths. Well, this is an eighths right over here, so two eighths is going to be two of these. And notice, you see that the two eighths is the same thing as one fourth. If you took each of these, if you took this one fourth and, and split it into two, so you have two, two times as many pieces, it becomes two eighths. And you see that if one times two is two, four times two is eight. So that one fourth is the same thing as two eighths. You see the eight eighths is the same thing as a whole. And you see you can make another whole out of one half plus three eighths plus one eighth. And they, they add up to a whole. And just to make sense of why that worked, this is one half could be written. One half is the same thing as four eighths. Because you see that we filled in the four eighths. Then you have three eighths. And then you have one eighth, one eighth. And if you add all of these together, 4 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 1 eighth, you are, gonna, you are going to get, in terms of eighths, 4 eighths plus 3 eighths plus 1 eighth is going to be 8 eighths. 4 plus 3 plus 1 is 8. So you get 8 eighths, which is this entire whole. So hopefully that helps give you a visual understanding of what we're doing when we're adding and decomposing these fractions a little bit more.